General Sam Houston says the calendar reads February, and with March Madness a month away, Sam Houston State and Lamar square off for the 59th time with the series even at 29 wins apiece. Men's Southland Conference basketball is next here on Root Sports. Welcome to Johnson Coliseum, which opened in 1976. The 16-5 Sam Houston State Bearcats hosting the 11-10 Lamar Cardinals in a pivotal Southland Conference meeting. Hello and welcome to Huntsville. I am Jeff Power, where Sam Houston State has won four consecutive games against Lamar and seven of the last meeting against the Cardinals. So a key matchup, though, you might remember in the Southland Conference, the top two teams receive two buys in the tournament coming up in Katy in March. So that is pivotal. So a big game tonight. Lamar comes into the game at 5-4. and four. Sam Houston State 8-1 and one in conference play, and they have been red hot. Let's talk about Lamar first of all. They are led by Anthony Holiday, who's averaging 14.9 points per game. He is one of their key go-to players. Watch out for him tonight. The Bearcats are 8-1. and one. They've got three players averaging in double figures, including Demarcus Gatlin at 11.9, Jabari Peters at 11.7, and Paul Baxter at 10 points per game. You might remember his father, Ron Baxter, played over at the University of Texas. They're all chasing Stephen F. Austin, who is the number one team in the Southland Conference. If we look at the standings for the SLC, because of Stephen F. Austin being in first, they are a perfect 8-0. They will match up with Sam Houston State in the last game of the regular season for the Southland Conference. Of course, at 8-0, they are the team to beat, and they are red hot overall. But Sam Houston State's got their work cut out for them to try to be that number two seed team. And the Islanders, don't forget about them out of Corpus Christi, the A&M Islanders. They are, of course, one of the top teams. They will match up against Sam Houston State a couple of times as well. So we've got a big game tonight. It's Lamar and Sam Houston State. We'll be right back with much more here on Root Sports, including the starting lineups and much more. Good evening, everybody. I'm Tom Franklin alongside his former Baylor head coach, Jim Haller. And coach, the calendar says February. We've had Groundhog's Day, and for a basketball coach, it means it's time to get serious, doesn't it? Well, absolutely. And this is the middle of the conference race, Tom, and both these ball clubs are peaking at the right time. An 8 and 1 start on the season in the conference for Sam Houston State. The lone loss is against Stephen F. Austin. They'll match up again in the final game of the series. The goal for the Bearcats is to keep the pressure on the Lumberjacks, isn't it? Well, good point. Sam Houston State's won 11 of their last 12 games. Everything's going their way. They hang their hat on great defense. They lead the Southland Conference in that category. That will be so important here tonight. Now, when it comes to Lamar, Tick Price has had to pick up the pieces. They've had a bad little stretch. They only won seven games the last two seasons combined. This year, they've already got 11 wins. They come in at 11 and 10. The goal for him is to keep the positive momentum going, isn't it? Well, Tick Price has done a phenomenal job. Big town turnaround. They've won nine of their last 13, so everything's headed in the right direction for the Lamar Cardinals. They like to play as fast as you can go. Sam Houston State wants it to be a half-court game. This will be an interesting battle here tonight. A couple of guys to keep your eyes on. First of all, for the Lamar Cardinals, it's their senior, Anthony Holiday named this week the Southland Conference Player of the Week. Well, he's just a terrific talent, and here's the key. He has now scored over 20 points in six of their last nine ball games, had a 25-point effort game before last against Stephen F. Austin, 29 Saturday night against Abilene Christian. You can see the Lamar starting lineup here. Kevin Booz is the young freshman point guard for them. Anthony Holiday also in the backcourt along with Marcus Owens. Tyron Delata Bodier. And we're not going to say that last name a whole lot because it's 16 letters worth and it takes a lot of time. And Lamont Gregory is in the middle. For the Sam Houston Bearcats, very balanced attack. 
Jabari Peters might be the guy that it centers around. Well, Jabari Peters is one of the most versatile players in college basketball today, not only in the Southland Conference. This young man, second leading scorer, he can, he can do the job on the perimeter with the outside jumper, or he can put it on the hardwood and take it tough to the rack. What I like about him, he's got super quick hands, leads the team in steals. He's the second leading rebounder. He, Jabari Peters, preseason first team all Southland Conference. He can do it all. The other starters for the Sam Houston Bearcats, you saw DeMarcus Gatlin, who is their leading scorer at 11.1 per game. Kareem Ransom, Paul Baxter, and Michael Holyfield round out the starting lineup for the Bearcats being introduced to the fans right now here at Johnson Coliseum. So if you're Tick Price, what do you want your team to do to pull off the upset tonight, Coach? Well, Tick Price specializes in fast-paced basketball. Coach Hooten for Sam Houston State, he wants it to be a half-court game. He wants to play at a slower pace. Tick Price has got to have his multiple defenses be effective here tonight. They run several full court presses on the full court. They'll drop back primarily in the man to man because that's what they did their last game, but he also plays a lot of zones, so it'll be interesting. Now following that loss to Stephen F. Austin here at Johnson Coliseum, the Bearcats have rebounded with wins over Abilene Christian and Houston Baptist. So how does Jason Hooten and the Bearcats keep the momentum going forward? Well, here's what Coach Hooten will tell you. This ball club is yet to play their best game offensively. They've got to do a better job of shooting from the perimeter. But the big key always for Sam Houston State under Coach Jason Hooten and his staff is to play great, fundamental, sound defense and to rebound like terrors. The officials for tonight's ball game, Sean Casey is our lead official. His assistants are Marcus Pettigrew and J.B. DeRosa. And you may look at that name and say, DeRosa, isn't that a longtime basketball guy? Well, yeah, his father, Joe DeRosa, is, and this is his son, J.B., coming up in his father's footsteps, part of the officiating crew for tonight's ball game. Sam Houston is the home team dressed in the whites, trimmed in orange, and Lamar, the visiting teams, in the red, trimmed in white. Sean Casey steps into the center circle, and we're just about ready for action. Tom, we've got a couple of NBA scouts here tonight, so let's see if the players live up to that type of exposure. The so Sam Houston first to attack. Gatlin goes bait line and off the glass for the opening points of the ball game. Nice drive by DeMarcus Gatlin. Boy, terrific strength going up between two red-shirted Lamar defenders off the baseline. And Sam Houston trying to give Lamar a taste of their own medicine with full court pressure, and they had an easy shot underneath that Gregory missed, and Holyfield took down. Gatlin again. No, that's Jabari that Peters. Jabari Peters. It's a one, not an 11. Peters with the three ball from the corner and an early 5 to nothing lead for the Bearcats. Great job of, by Sam Houston State spacing the floor against that press. Bar goes to the basket, kick out for Owens. He'll take the three left wing, does not get a friendly roll, and Holyfield with the block out on Gregory for the rebound. Big Michael Holyfield at 6'10", has got to play big here tonight. Baxter on the attack, kicks off on the wing. Three ball for the far corner, no good by Ransom, and pulled away by the Cardinals. Booz, the freshman point guard, air ball with a baseline jumper. And Holyfield with another rebound. He's got three now already. Back iron clang that time for Peters. That's probably a little quicker shot than Coach Jason Hooten would like. Sam Houston right now playing at the pace that Lamar prefers. Who's trying to slow things down and get Lamar into a good offensive set. First touch for Boudier. And he's fouled on the drive. De La Boudier loves to take the ball hard to the rack. Shoots a lot of free throws. Foul on Gatlin. 235 for the Lamar Cardinals looking for their first points. Ball knocked out of Hol Holiday's hands. Saved by Lamar, however. De La Boudier lost it. He picks it back up again. Here's Holiday blocked by Holyfield. Wow. Is Holyfield a force early on, Coach? Well, Holyfield is one of the guys these NBA scouts are watching closely here tonight. At his size, over 6'10", he has got a chance to really develop into a special talent. 
See if he can go to work offensively with the right hand. Left it short, got it back. Kicked it back out. Will it be saved? No, goes out of bounds. Well, now that was more aggressive than Holyfield normally is on the offensive end of the floor. I've been watching this young man since he was a freshman out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, and it's amazing how his game has progressed, especially on the offensive end. Two and a half minutes gone by. Lamar is still looking for their first points. The matchup defensively, Baxter against Holiday. That'll be something to keep our eyes on. Two star players there. They dish off to De La Boudier. Going strong to the basket. It's an offensive foul. It is. Boy, nice job by Gatlin dropping off. Now that's good team defensive rotation for the Bearcats. That scouting report says when that young man gets it on the baseline, we've got to have help. Gatlin did the job. And did an important job of getting outside that little half arc underneath to make sure you establish good defensive position. It's a hand check foul on Booz. Kevin Booz out of Irving MacArthur. So a new 35 for the Bearcats. Uh, Peter's throwing in to Ransom right now for Sam Houston State. Ransom preseason second team all conference. Hard to the basket and denied there by De La Boudier. And here comes Holiday to the basket with a finger roll for two. Boy, what great speed Holiday possesses. Good transition basketball that time by the Cardinals. And that is definitely what the Cardinals excel at is in transition. 5-2 is our score. Baxter trying to set things up. Baseline for Gatlin working to penetrate with the jump hook. Won't go and ripped out of there. And nice strong rebound by Marcus Owens. Here's De La Boudier to the basket with the right hand. And it's stripped away underneath and taken away by Gatlin. Yeah, another great defensive play by Gatlin. Peters for his longtime teammate, Ransom, who buries the three from the left corner. Well, what a great combination. Those two youngsters played junior college ball together up in the state of Kansas. It was part of the recruiting pitch that Jason Hoot gave to them is stick them together. And Coach, did you find when you brought JUCO kids in that sometimes they would have a hard time meshing with your people? And if you brought a friend in with them, it made it a little bit easier? Well, that's a great point, Tom, and especially when you have two guards who are used to playing against each other. That's paid huge dividends. Here is Gatlin, cannot get by as De La Boudier with solid defense on the baseline, forces him back outside. Best way I can explain the effectiveness of Ransom and Peters. They were juniors last year, first year on the campus. Led that team to 24 victories. That's pretty indicative. Whoa, blocked from behind as Holyfield went for the dunk, and the foul is going to be on De La Boudier. Good hands by Holyfield getting that pass in traffic low below the knees. That's tough for a 6'10 youngster to handle. That'll be the second foul against Tyran De La Boudier and bring us to our first timeout. 15 24 to play, and the Bearcats off with the early lead at 8 to 2 here on Root Sports. Lamar Cardinals having trouble getting started in tonight's ball game. Just one of seven from the floor, trailing by a score of eight to two to the Sam Houston State Bearcats. And part of the reason for that slow start, Coach, has got to be the play of Michael Holyfield down low. He's got five of their seven rebounds and a block shot in the early going. Well, he's moving very well. His anticipation is getting better each time I see him play, but he is just on top of his game here tonight. The points you make about his rebounding, five boards in the first five minutes of a ball game is sensational. He has more rebounds by himself than the entire Lamar team has as a team. And he comes to the free throw line to shoot a pair as we come back to action on the season 60% from the strike. Rolls the first one in for his first point of the night. Yeah, nice soft touch. Yeah, I really get a kick out of watching these youngsters develop, and I've had a chance, as I mentioned, to see this youngster play as a freshman. His shooting touch, another example of how his game has progressed. And he will take a seat. And to check in for Sam Houston will be Aramis Bajowskis. Yeah, this youngster came into the program last year, a sophomore now. 
Six, seven, 245 pounds from Lithuania. And a five second count will turn the ball over. And how about Sam Houston State giving Lamar a taste of their own medicine with well, the full court pressure on was, defense? That was terrific. Coming out of that timeout, they jumped into the full court pressure, caught Lamar by surprise. Here's Myauskas from the top of the circle, left it short. And Holiday will clear it away for the Cardinals. Shot from the wing is no good oh, by good. Quan Jones. Good job by Myauskas getting up and getting that long rebound. Good, strong hands. So here's Baxter. He will leave it on the far side for Peters. They circulate around. Backdoor pass. Myauskas spinning the basket with the right hander. Left it short. Ball knocked out of bounds. Last touch, they say, by well, Myauskas. How about that? Belong to how, Lamar. How about that creativity by Myauskas that time? I watched this spin move. Got it a uh, little partially blocked from behind, but I like the thought. Well contested by Donovan Ross. And Ross is a the guy they would like to get going again. He was strong in their last outing on Saturday. I believe he had, what, 14 points? 14 points Abilene and 10 Christian. rebounds, right? Double-double. So Marcus Owens has to give it up under heavy pressure on the far side. Jones will get it here on the near side. Here's Holiday, a long way for the basket with 12 to shoot for Lamar. One against one, Holiday against Peters. Double team comes out, Holiday gets around for the free throw line, jumper and nothing but net. Well, you can see the explosiveness by this youngster from California right there. Split the defense with the quick first step and this jumped up and over the defense. Holiday on a tear. All the way to the basket goes Ransom and they left the back door open for him to go in from the far side for his second basket of the night. Boy, how about that speed right there? Good quick first step. When he turned the corner, it was wide open. It was paved with gold. Holiday will pull up a deep three off the iron. No good. Rebound followed by Owens for the putback. Well, that'll draw the ire of Coach Jason Hooten. No blockout attempt that time by the Bearcats. They lead the Southland Conference in rebounding. Didn't do a good job blocking out that time. So now checking in the ball game number two is Markel McKinney. How about that nice kick out down to Paul Baxter who slid down to the corner. Baxter, that 24 win season last year was voted most valuable player on the Bearcat team. And you can see why, and he's got the breeding to go with it. Ron Baxter, the former Texas Longhorn great is his dad. And his younger sister is signed to play with the Bearcats starting next season as Holiday hits another basket. Boy, nice job by Holiday once again. I love his elevation on his shot. Really gets up quick. You can see why he is the second leading scorer in conference play at just under 22 points a game. Yeah, and we mentioned earlier, scored over 26 in the last nine. So here is Ransom, another three ball for Ransom. How about that smooth left-handed stroke? Beautiful follow through. Ransom with eight of the Bearcats, 18. And they lead by 10 with 12.25 to play here first half. Steal by Ransom against Holiday. Crossover dribble, left it for Peters. Got it to go and one. How about that teamwork right there? Junior college teammate back to the other. Now Sam Houston State Bearcats for the second year. Watch this defensive play by Ransom. Great job using that left hand. Spinning uh -huh. it back to the right. And off to Jabari Peters to get the finish. Took the contact from Owens and still got it to go. As Owens picks up the foul. Uh, Ransom, who made that terrific pass, is originally from Wichita, Kansas. Jabari Peters on the finish, Tom, is from Brooklyn, New York. But and they hooked they, up at Seward uh, County yeah, Community yeah. College in Kansas. They've been teammates mm -hmm. now for four years. I know a lot of major colleges in the country that would like to have this pair in the backcourt. They are very talented. And I want to say that they called a technical foul against Lamont Gregory after the play. Well, I missed it. I didn't see what happened. I did not see what happened, but I just got the the officials on the far side of the scorer's table, so we're going to get Peters to shoot the technical. Okay. 
rims it in and out. Peters on the season 76% for the stripe. Now Sam Houston State's a terrific free throw shooting team hitting almost 72% for the year as a team. And anytime you shoot 70 or better, that's considered very, very good. Ransom makes the first of two. And let's check that. That was Peters shooting the and one after the basket. Now the technical goes to Ransom, who is an 84% free throw shooter. And he makes the two on the technical. And the technical was called on Gregory. So now that's five team fouls against Lamar, against one for Sam Houston. Yeah, it's amazing. This tight, tough man-to-man -to -man defense that Sam Houston plays to only have one foul eight minutes into the game. Nice up fake by McKinney and couldn't get the bouncer off the glass to go. So here comes Holiday, who's been just about a one-man gang. He's got six of Lamar's eight points through the first eight minutes. And here he goes, the basket strong, too strong off the glass. And we're gonna get a rebounding foul. Looks like Hollis over the back. We'll pick it up for the Cardinals. Zachary Hollis, a 6'8 junior from Palmdale, California, brings us to an official's timeout. 11.49 to go, and the Bearcats have opened up a 14-point lead. 22 to eight here on Root Sports from Huntsville, Texas. Ten early points from Kahim Ransom have helped the Lamar have helped the Sam Houston State Bearcats to a 22 to 8 lead over the Lamar Cardinals with 11:49 to play here in the opening half. Great defense by this Sam Houston State team, coach that is known for their defensive prowess, holding Lamar to just four of 13 shooting so far. Well, the key to that, Tom, is they always have terrific pressure on the shooter. You watch their footwork, they're always sliding into the shooter and they get their hand up so effectively. Watch uh, number three down in the left corner for Sam Houston State now, Dakari Henderson, a sophomore from Pearland. When he comes in, they're trying to get him the ball for a three-point shot. There he is with the ball right now. If he gets open, he will take it quickly. So Baxter's got the ball now. He'll step away for a three ball. It's off the mark, no good. The rebound is pulled down by Dontavius Sears for Lamar. Sears will send it back to Holiday, and Holiday, who plays both off guard and point guard sometimes, right now he's running the point with the young freshman Kevin Boos on the bench. There's a three from Owens, it's too strong, and Myauskas goes highest for the rebound. Well, good hands by Myauskas because he got clobbered on that rebound. No call was made. Baxter will try and set things up for the Bearcats. There's the player you mentioned, yeah, he, Henderson. He's, he's taken 108 three-point shots this year, second most on the team. Bajowska's uh, block, lost it, and lost it again. Yeah, Tough block by Zachary Hollis underneath. Good positioning there. Yeah, that was too much one-on-one -on -one by Bajowska that time. Got to kick it out to his guard. Drive to the basket, and we're going to get jump ball. <laughs> Alternating possession will keep it with Lamar. Boy, a physical game developing here tonight. Watch this offside help come in there by Askus to help Peters on the defense on the baseline. A drive by Donovan Ross, who took the worst of that, that two on one. By Askus will check out, and Holyfield will come back in for the Bearcats. Nearing the midway point, Lamar looking to get on track offensively. Well, they got to just get, eight points so far. Yeah, they've got to get Holiday more shots. He's out front now with that basketball, but they've got to clear some space for him. Trying to work on Baxter, left it in the lane for Sears, and the little teardrop is good. Well, you can see the quickness of Holiday making that little kickoff possible. And put, you know he draws a crowd yeah. when he starts to drive well, the lane. Put four teammates on the baseline. He took it in there. Baxter's drive comes up empty, and it's taken down again by Hollis. Here comes Lamar with a chance for back-to-back -back possessions with points. 
Pump fake by Holiday, and he'll draw the foul as he got Baxter up off his feet. Well, Holiday is a savvy young man, as we mentioned earlier, the Southland Conference Player of the Week. He can literally do it all. I like his versatility with his game, put the ball on the floor and drive harder. He can pull up and hit the jumper right there. Great body control, good head fake. Watch this. Good head fake, good body fake, drawing the foul on Paul Baxter, the point guard for the Bearcats. The young man who battled injuries a year ago has come back to lead this team but misses the first of his free throw attempts. And that doesn't happen very often, 82% on the year coming in. And he missed them both. You don't see that happen very often. Not an 82% free throw shooter come up empty in two tries at the line. Well, here's Ransom. Couldn't get it to go that time, and back come the Cardinals. Well, you can see Ransom's got the green light to take that three shot anytime he wants it. Ho, ho, how about Sears right there, partner? Right back jumped, at you. Yeah, jumped up and drilled it, a step outside the three-point line. Only a 31% three-point shooter, but that, nothing but that with that one makes it a nine-point game at 22-13 as we approach nine minutes to play here in the first half. Baxter looking down low for Holyfield, can't find him, but they're gonna get a foul down low, and I think it's gonna be Hollis. We'll pick up his second. Well, this is very interesting so far here tonight, Tom. Lamar, which has played more zone this year than man, has played man-to-man -man the entire game here this evening and doing a good job of it. And usually what they do by zone is they start with the full court pressure. They really mm -hmm. haven't been able no. to establish that tonight, and part of the reason is, is they're not making baskets. It's hard to set up a zone press Absolutely. defense when your team is running transition after clearing the board as Holyfield makes the first and he's three for three for the strike. Well, watch this follow through by Holyfield. Just a nice pure touch on the basketball. You know, he's only a 60% free throw shooter, but he sure doesn't look it tonight because well, he is a perfect yeah, four for four. I was gonna say, how about 100% here this <laughs> evening? Early February is a green with the big guy. The so Sears will give it up for Holiday, and he'll be back near midcourt to set him in offense with four down low. Ross had it stripped away from behind by Ransom. Man, how about the quick feet and quick hands of Ransom that time, diving back in from up top. Watch the hands here of Ransom, just quick. But got him on the elbow. Yep, nice alert effort. He read the play very, very well. Donovan Ross, almost an 80% shooter, 79% for the year. Gets his first points of the night coming off that strong 14 and 10 against Abilene Christian Saturday at home at the Montaigne Center. This is the start of a tough three game road trip for the Lamar Cardinals and they've had trouble on the road. And they finally got a chance to set up the press. Yeah, 2-2-1, two, two, three quarter court press. Sam Houston just passes it right over the top. Baxter misses the three, and we get a rebounding foul down low. And it's on Lamar. Yeah, got it on Gregory. They're 6'10". We got two 6'10s going at each other here tonight. They're getting pretty feisty out there. That'll bring Zachary Hollis up off the bench as Gregory gets that second foul. He will come in, and Gregory will take a seat. You know, Zachary Hollis coming in, don't... Uh, doesn't give up much in the way of physicality there. He's 6'8", 250 pounder out of Alamo Valley College out in California, junior college. How about Holyfield, man? Putting uh, on I, a guess, free throw I guess shooting. nobody told him tonight that he was a 60% <laughs> free throw shooter because he sure does not look. This is the guy who's got full confidence in his stroke. Oh, he actually got some iron with that one. That's the first one I think that's gotten any iron. The rest of it, nothing but cord. He's got six points off for the strike. Lamar breaks the press. Finds Bosha open in the wing, denied the shot, and gave it back up. And Holiday will reset the offense for the Cardinals. Boy, this is quick on quick out front. Ransom and Holiday. Good double team defense there with Holyfield coming to help out to cut off the attack by Holyfield. They throw it away. And here comes Henderson. He'll pull up for the 18 footer. No good. Tipped by Holyfield. 
this is what Sam Houston State needs, the big fella to keep developing. Of course, all their thoughts right now, of course, game by game, but they know in early March they're playing Stephen F. Austin again. They know the big guy could be significant in a contest like that. They hope they're playing him twice in March, not just once. Here's Sears with a three ball. It's off the mark. Long backside rebound. Hollis picks it up in a new 35 for Lamar. Back out to Holiday and he'll reset with seven and a half to play here in the first half. And the Cardinals down by 13. Holiday with a crossover in the drive to the basket. And I think Ransom's going to get his second. Yes. Well, this is my first chance to see Holiday, Tom, and I'm telling you, his speed is something to behold very quick. He's got a jetpack on his back, and he'll be at the line when we return. thinking about diversifying with gold but don't know how? Hi, I'm Mike Fulgens, president of Universal Coin & Bullion. As an award-winning nationwide dealer, we help clients get the answers they need to discover the beauty, security, and strength of gold in their portfolio. Call us today at 866-UCB-GUIDE to receive our award-winning gold guide free. That's 866-822-4843. I discovered Lamar University. Close to home. A place of my own. With all the amenities. Opportunities. Engineering. World-class science. Professors who know my name. That's what you get with a doctoral research university. Hands-on research. Or study abroad. And it starts right here. Lamar University. Visit us online at beacardinal.com. Tonight's game is being presented by Universal Coin and Bullion. Check them out online at universalcoin.com. 7.21 to play here first half at the Johnson Coliseum in Huntsville. Sam Houston State all over Lamar 28-15. Tom, pretty easy to see why there's a 13-point differential already. Sam Houston State has made four three-pointers compared to only one for Lamar. And the big difference, Sam Houston State Eight made free throws to only two for the Cardinals. There's your difference in the game. Everything is even in the rebounding, 13 to 13. Neither team has many turnovers. It's all about going to the charity stripe and knocking down the three ball. And how about Anthony Holiday? Now 0 for 3 for the line as he misses the first of two. Finally got one to go for his seventh point of the night. And it's a 12-point lead for Sam Houston State as they're going to have to contend with a full court pressure from Lamar for one of the few times tonight. Baxter works against Owens at midcourt. Now they drop off into a straight man-to-man. -man. Baxter looking down low, cannot find Gatlin. Well, a small lineup on the floor now for Sam Houston State. Other than Holyfield, nobody over 6'4". Shot clock down to five. Baxter better get things going. Goes down low. Holyfield's attempt is no good. The tip by Gatlin is no good. And out of bounds, last touch by Sam Houston State. I tell you, when you're looking at big men, one of the first things you always look for is good hands, and Holyfield is showing that here tonight. Look at this pass from Baxter up there to Holyfield in traffic, and he had good enough control of the ball to get the shot off. Hard to do in traffic. Once again, Sam Houston will pressure Lamar. And they finally get it into Holiday's hands, and he'll set up the offense as they get across the midcourt stripe with 22 to shoot now. 
Holiday on the far side. Shot partially blocked. Ross couldn't get it, and here come the Bearcats. Baxter leaves it for Henderson. His shot is no good. And away come the Cardinals. Ross will slow it down. Give to Sears, will try and go baseline. Blocked by Holyfield. Hollis with the jump hook left hand is good. How about that by Hollis? Boy, nice job by shielding Holyfield off with the right side of his body up and over. Nice jump hook by the big fella out of the JUCO ranks in California. 28-18 with 5.40 to play here first half. Still a 10-point lead. It seems as though the Bearcats have had a double-digit advantage for much of the first half. They feed Holyfield on the left block. Hollis did a nice job and had some backside help, and Ross strips it away. To the basket with a right-handed scoop is Zori, Zori Bosha. Yeah, not good transition defense that time by the Bearcats. Good job running the floor for the Cardinals. Bosha kid from Hart Jefferson High School in the Beaumont Port Arthur area. A very highly touted scorer coming out of high school. A freshman trying to get his feet wet. Has had some trouble lately. Score on the ball. Maybe that will get him going. Here's a drive by Henderson. Had it blocked out of bounds. Uh, Henderson a little bit out of control there, Tom. Got to be uh, able to stop and jump up and over the defense. A good pass out of the double team by Peters. And here you see Henderson spinning hard back to the basket. Hollis came over to shut off the drive. Here's Holyfield with his jump hook right hand is no good. Rebound underneath, and we're going to get a foul on Holyfield, I do yeah, believe. Now that's not a smart foul at all. 90 feet from your bucket with a eight-point lead. Not smart. That's his second, so Coach Hooten taking him out probably for the remainder of this first half. And Myauskas will check back in. Holyfield. Eight points in the ball game. Only double figure score so far. Kahim Ransom for the Bearcats. How about that team? Holiday with a drive down the lane. Out of control and picks up the offensive foul. Yeah, Myauskas, look at him sliding into the paint. Just a terrific job of team defensive rotation. That's what the Bearcats hang their hat on for success. And it seems as though that Holiday is a little bit frustrated here in the first half, coached by this tough defense from Sam Houston. Well, there's always help coming whenever he thinks he's free. That rotation is getting there. They go down low, and Gatlin lost it on the way up. Myauskas brings it back out. Here's Henderson with the three ball. No good, but he's fouled. And Owens. Coming out to contest, picks up the foul. Well, what a smart, mature play by the sophomore, Myauskas that time, getting the offensive carom. Watch him right here. Now we're gonna see the back door cut by Gatlin. And then look at Myauskas, smart play, kicking it back out to the wide open Dakari Henderson. Boy, that's court awareness right there. I'm always happy to see that by a big fella inside. Henderson makes the first free throw. You know, quite often, if you can get an offensive board and you're alert on that rebound, you find an open man for a three-point shot on the perimeter. And Dakari Henderson at the line now for the Bearcats, one of seven Sam Houston State players averaging between seven and a half and 11 points per game. Great team balance for the Bearcats. Just one out of three from the line for Henderson, but they save it on the far side, does Peters. And you get a chance to score some more to the Bearcats. Peters drops it down to Myauskas. Back out. Can they save it? Baxter had it. Knocked out of his hands. Picks it up. They say it was deflected out of his hands, so it's no over and back. And Baxter to the lane. Oh, wow. Well, he looked like an option quarterback faking that pitch, taking it back off the glass, and then Gatlin gets the inbound steal. Anderson's jumper no good. Myauskas over the top of Gatlin. Gatlin is stuffed. 
We're going to get a jump ball as Hollis was there to stuff the first putback attempt. Boy, what a play a while ago by Paul Baxter. I'm very impressed with the ball fakes these both ball clubs are making here tonight. But a great one by Baxter on that last basket for the Bearcats. 325 left here in the first half. It's been all Sam Houston State as they lead by 11. Paul Baxter taking it to the basket. As the defense kind of forgot about him when the ball went in the backcourt and he came back the other way after a deflection and he has found open sailing all the way to the hole. Well, the key to that finish, Tom, was the fact that Baxter made the nice ball fake, fake like he was kicking it out to his teammate in the corner and just took it all the way off the glass as we look at Coach Tick Price for the Lamar Cardinals. What a background Tick Price has had Head coach at New Orleans University is his first head coaching job. University of Memphis University. Then he's at McNeese State here at Lamar now. In fact, he's coached now at three schools that are currently in the Southland Conference. On the inbounds, a three ball from Peters is no good. Gatlin had the rebound knocked out of his hands. It's going to be a foul on Lamar. And I believe that's Marcus Owens. And if it is, that's his third. So that's the first player with any kind of foul trouble, and it comes to Marcus Owens for the Lamar Cardinals with 3.22 left here in the first half. Now DeMarcus Gatlin at the free throw line for the Bearcats, one of four seniors in the starting lineup for Sam Houston tonight. This youngster was outstanding three straight seasons for the Bearcats, then missed all of last year with a knee injury, red-shirted, and now back this year playing better than ever. Just a terrific all-round player. Two for two for the line for Gatlin. Ups the lead to 33 to 20. And again, Sam Houston looks like they're going to go pressure defense. One, two, two zone trap. A nice job filling the middle of the floor by Anthony Holiday. That's the way to take care of that problem. Flash in there hard. Not only get somebody to flash in there hard, but get your best player to do that. Yep. That'll, that'll break the pressure in a hurry. Here's Booz, who's checked back in. Leaves it down low for Hollis. Hollis jump hook with the right hand is good. Well, how about that nice soft touch? That's two possessions out of their last four that Hollis has made the nice move with the jump hook shot, shielding the defender with the left side of his body. 33-22, double team. Bearcats get it away and going baseline as Peters had it rejected, but maybe a foul underneath with some body contact. Well, Tom, you've got to admire the effort of both teams here tonight, playing very, very hard, using their speed and quickness effectively. Sears picks up the foul his first, and that's 10 now against the Lamar Cardinals. So for the final 232, every violation is going to result in at least two free throws for the Bearcats as Peters makes his first. Well, I think when you look at both coaches, Jason Hooten and Tick Price, one of their hallmarks is effort. We, he's, each coach will go, we may not be the most talented, but we're not going to get outworked on the floor night in and night out. Well, when you have that philosophy, it definitely carries over to your team. Both these coaches, such great competitors, very intense. Jason Hooten, one of the most intense coaches I've ever watched on the sideline. He works as hard as his players. Peters gets it on the feed from Myauskas. Now it's Myauskas off the left block in the lane around Hollis. A travel or a clear out? Clear out on Myauskas with the offhand. Boy, he dropped that left leg beautifully to free himself from the defense. Watch this now. Watch him drop that left leg. But what he did before he bounced the basketball, he moved two feet. Good thought, good effort. 
Got to watch when you make that spin move not to yeah. seal off your defender with your off arm. But now with under two minutes to play, Tick Price is hoping his Cardinals can get this down to at least single digits going into the locker room at halftime. Because they've been behind by double digits most of the night. Here's Sears with a three ball that's off the mark. Well, Sears drilled one from about that same spot earlier, but not this time. Peters finds Gatlin at the top of the circle. With 25 to shoot, 125 left in the half. Bearcats work at the perimeter, trying to loosen things up on Lamar. Here's a steal by Holiday against Baxter to the basket. Baxter with a steal. Loose ball on the sideline, and Baxter will recover for the Bearcats. Oh, great quick hands by Baxter, making that theft possible. Here's Peters on the left corner, down low for the jam from Gatlin. Wow. But how about that beautiful pass by Jabari Peters across the paint. Gatlin with the powerful finish. Powerful finish and a powerful pass. That thing was going 100 miles an hour. Good hands yep. by Gatlin just to catch it. 36-22 as we go under a minute to play, down to 35 seconds and counting. Holiday on the pick and roll. The shot is no good by Ross, and the Bearcats get one last chance Boy. here before the buzzer. Nice long rebound by Myauskas. Youngster from Lithuania getting the job done here for the Bearcats tonight. And the timeout called by Jason Hooten. It's either use it or lose it when you get in the first half. You have to use one in the first half. Tick Price used his earlier. Now Jason Hooten uses his to set up the last shot of the half and can try and extend this lead to beyond 15 points, Coach. So what do you look for him to do here in these final 17 seconds? Who's the go-to guy right now? Well, first of all, if Jason Hooten is using this as an opportunity to teach his players how to handle last-second possessions, this could apply to late in the game. It can apply at the end of the first half. All of this is in preparation for they, what they hope is going to be bigger key moments in the future of this conference race. But I think they will try to get the ball, obviously, in the hands of Jabari Peters and if they double team him like they've been trying to do, he can kick the ball off to the open man. But let's see what happens here. Jabari Peters has played terrific team basketball here tonight. He's going to be throwing it in to Paul Baxter, but look for Baxter to get it back to Peters. How many times do we see on inbound plays that the guy who's inbounding the ball often gets forgotten about by the defenders? Yes, good point. So here's Baxter with the clock down to 10. Baxter skids on the floor, and it's going to be a foul on Booz for a hand check. Well, it, well, Baxter was getting fouled. They were setting up a double screen on the other side of the paint with Peters coming over that double pick. So Baxter, if he wasn't open, would have spun and tried to get the ball to Peters coming on the baseline. Had a bit of a clock malfunction here as the clock here at Johnson Coliseum says zero. Yeah, not, that was a good look at a nice crowd here on a Monday night. They said this was the first Monday night game they've played. Well, you know, the Groundhogs said we're going to have six more weeks of winter, so what does that mean? It means come out and watch some basketball. Yep, You're going to have absolutely. six more weeks of winter. And these folks here tonight all have jackets on, a cool 44 degrees outside when we came in. So, uh, And it will only go lower than that. So now we reset the clock to 4.7. Or is that too far? It started at 7.5 and then stopped at 5.6. Now we're back to 7.5, and I think that's where it's going to stay. And Paul Baxter at the free throw line, the point guard for the Bearcats. I mentioned earlier, last year this team won the second most games ever in their Division I history, winning 24 games. This young man shooting the free throw right now, Paul Baxter, he was voted by his teammates as MVP of that team, yet he was the fourth leading scorer. So that is terrific respect by his teammates for all he brings to the ball club. One out of two for Baxter makes it 37-22. And Holiday will have to hurry. We're down to three, down to two. He'll fire from 18 off the front iron, no good. And boy, what a great job defensively the Bearcats did on Anthony Holiday here in the fourth, first half to take a 15 point lead into the locker room. At the intermission, Sam Houston State leads 37 22. More Southland Conference basketball coming your way from Johnson Coliseum. 
on Root Sports right after this. Have you been thinking about diversifying with gold but don't know how? Hi, I'm Mike Fulgens, president of Universal Coin & Bullion. As an award-winning nationwide dealer, we help clients get the answers they need to discover the beauty, security, and strength of gold in their portfolio. Call us today at 866-UCB-GUIDE to receive our award-winning gold guide free. That's 866-822-4843. I discovered Lamar University. Close to home. A place of my own. With all the amenities. Opportunities. Engineering. World-class science. Professors who know my name. That's what you get with a doctoral research university. Hands-on research. Or study abroad. And it starts right here. Lamar University. Visit us online at beacardinal.com. Great hunt today, Dad. Thanks, son. For more than 15 years, I've helped clients nationwide make solid decisions about investing in gold so they can enjoy what's most important. Discover the best options for you and your family by calling 866-UCB-GUIDE to receive our award-winning gold guide free. 866-UCB-GUIDE, 866-822-4843. Now is the time to learn about gold so you have time to enjoy what's most important. And welcome back to Huntsville, Texas, where the Cats of Sam Houston State leading Lamar 37 to 22. I'm Jeff Power here courtside with Bobby Williams, the athletic director here at Sam Houston State. And first of all, Bobby, excited to be here on campus here in Huntsville and a lot of great things happening in the sports world here at Sam Houston State. It's great to have you all. I mean, it's nice to have you here and uh, it's really great for our university and everything that's going on. A lot of great things going to university, a lot of growth, really a lot of success in the athletic program. I'm very proud of it. Only one conference loss so far this year for Sam Houston State. Right behind SFA, the team that you lost to, and you will play them again, by the way, later this uh, regular season, to, to end the regular season. Thoughts about basketball right now and just the way things are going for this squad? Well, this squad's been very good. This is one, you know, I've been an athletic director for 17 years, and we've had some really good basketball teams. I think this is one of our better ones. Unfortunately, Stephen F's really good, so hopefully we can get them. We've got one more chance to go over there, and, and it'll be just, it'll be nice. I think our kids really play well. Very solid. Uh, Jason Hooten does, and his staff does a great job. Tell me a little bit more about Jason and what he's meant to this program. They've really been on the rise the last few years. Has been. You know, he was assistant, for, long time assistant for and under Bob Marlin. Uh, won a couple championships, been part of those things. And uh, I just really like what he's doing in our program, the type of uh, student athlete he's recruiting. Uh, very good on the court and off the court as well. We mentioned this earlier, the top two teams in the Southland Conference, they get two buys in the tournament. That is huge. You need to try to finish either one or two. Uh, and a game like tonight is a big chance to keep that second place position and put yourself in line to maybe get that top seed. Well, we hope so. You know, we got to do that last year and we were able to get through all that. And so, you know, it's just, it's very important to our team that we have success during the regular season and then build on it as we go through the tournament. Before we move to other sports, final thoughts about basketball, both the men's and women's side here. Well, you know, we won a conference championship, our first ever in women's uh, two years ago. That was really special. And I think right now we lost a lot of good kids and so we're rebuilding. But uh, Brenda's getting them going, and I, I really look for some great things again from them. Let's talk about Casey Keeler and uh, the, the football team and what they've been able to do uh, three out of the last four years, at least to the national semifinals, twice to the championship game. I know North Dakota State's been the tough team, but what y'all have done on the football field has been impressive. The three wins over top ten teams this year are very impressive. Casey's done a great job. You know, it's about a year ago we lost Willie Fritz to Georgia Southern, and he had done such a wonderful job for us got us on the national map. And of course, Casey's done such a great job coming in and transitioning and to get us to the semifinals. Uh, you know, I had an opportunity to work with Casey uh, when he was uh, at Delaware. I was the NCAA rep and uh, his liaison at the championship game a couple of times. 
And so I knew what he was capable of doing. He came in and just continued the success that we've had. One of the bigger wins for you this past year in football season happened against McNeese right here. Just your thoughts about you know, beating the Cowboys and beating the tough competition in this league and then really showing the strength of the Southland Conference once you get into that postseason. Well, it's interesting. I've been here 33 years at Sam Houston. I coached football for about 10, and McNeese has always had our number. And, and this year, when we had a chance to beat them here, it was really special because we haven't had a chance to do that very often. And then, and then we got on a roll and then really made a difference in, 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 the, in the playoffs. I think we're, we've won 14 playoff games, I think, since 2001. And that, that's pretty, I think that's the most in the Southland Conference, is that's very special. Jared Johnson, your quarterback, what a great season for him, over 4,000 total yards. Really great to see him here. Coming in as a sophomore and didn't really know what we had, he just kept getting better and better and better. A lot like Brian Bell did back in 2011. Same type of situation. So we hope that Jared does the same thing that Brian did and win a lot of games for us. And how about Keyshawn Hill? I mean, academic All-American on top of that, but what he can do on the football field, very impressive as well. Really great to play behind Tim Flanders all those years, and then you saw what he was capable of doing. And it was really great to have him have such success on his senior year. I do want to ask you about baseball as well. The success you had on the diamond, incredible this past season. I mean, you took TCU to what, 22 innings. Incredible game, a game that you guys maybe thought you should have won in 21 innings. Well, it'd been nice <laughs> if we could have won it, but, but the interesting part, if we won that, then we would have hosted a Super Regional here, which would have been very special. You know, our baseball program, when we hired Mark Johnson about eight years ago, has really taken it to another level. He won three championships. David Pierce, who did, who's now at Tulane, did a great job, won three championships. And we really think we have Hey, we got it right with Matt Deggs. We really think he's going to do a great job. And uh, it's wonderful because the other night, we Saturday night, we had a baseball auction, raised about $160,000. year before, we had done about eighty. So that's a good sign as well to help us take it to another level. Bobby Williams, athletic director here at Sam Houston State. Thank you for being with us. We do appreciate it. It is 37-22 uh, to 22 right now, Sam Houston State leading Lamar. Let's take a quick timeout. We'll be right back with much more. And welcome back to Huntsville, 37 to 22. Sam Houston State leading Lamar. And joining me now is Jason Henderson, the athletic director at Lamar. You've been there since 2006, but as the athletic director since 2011, a lot has happened at Lamar since then. Of course, football's been ushered in. The basketball team's had a lot of success, uh, almost at 1,000 wins overall for this school. Yeah, we couldn't be happy with the basketball program and the direction it's going under Coach Price. You know, really taking some stuff over and really changing kind of the dynamic and everything else. And we're excited about what the future holds in basketball. Tell me about Tick Price. What's he like as a coach, uh, someone who's just uh, bled the, the red of the Cardinal red here? He's done that. Uh, you know, he, he loves the community. He loves the school. He loves his kids. And I think you see that day in and day out with the effort that they're putting in and those type of things. And, you know, the kids love playing for him. They'll run through a wall for him. He's out in our community. The kids are doing well in the school. You know, it's just a great time to be at Lamar University. Anthony Holliday, Southland Conference Player of the Week, 25 points against SFA, 29 against ACU. What a great week for him. Yeah, he had a great week, and he's doing well. Sch scheduled to graduate this spring, so that's what I'm the most proud of. But I love the fact that he's Southland Conference Player of the Week. Uh, really deserved well and things like that. So I couldn't say enough about that. Really just done a good job in the classroom, on the court, and in the community being a part of Lamar and Beaumont community. Tell me about football season. This was a great year for you guys, and, and the McNeese game really kind of stood out for y'all. Oh, it really did. You know, this year we go eight and four, our fifth year back, and really turned a lot of corners of where we're trying to do to develop the program and keep going up and up and up. And, uh, you know, we're very excited going over to McNeese where it all started five years ago and finally beating your rival and doing that in the last game of the year. It was a very special time for those seniors and for all of us in the Lamar program. What was the one thing that kind of stood out about uh, Lamar football this past year? I mean, you know, stadium renovations, uh, it seems like the feeling on campus there in Beaumont is just at a, a fever pitch right now. Well, I think it was we had our first full class of recruits go through, you know, our first class we could red shirt and those type of things. We really started to, to develop that depth and everything else that everybody else has had for years upon years. So I'm really enjoying seeing that. 
having the kids in the program and our fans have really come out and supported us well. Our students are there behind us. And it's really a fun place to be on Saturday nights. Very good. Jason Henderson, thank you so much thank for being with us. We appreciate, appreciate it. it. The athletic director at Lamar. It's 37 to 22 right now. Sam Houston State leading. We'll be right back with much more, including second half action when we return. thinking about diversifying with gold but don't know how? Hi, I'm Mike Fulgens, president of Universal Coin & Bullion. As an award-winning nationwide dealer, we help clients get the answers they need to discover the beauty, security, and strength of gold in their portfolio. Call us today at 866-UCB-GUIDE to receive our award-winning gold guide free. That's 866-822-4843. I discovered Lamar University. Close to home. A place of my own. With all the amenities. Opportunities. Engineering. World-class science. Professors who know my name. That's what you get with a doctoral research university. Hands-on research. Or study abroad. And it starts right here. Lamar University. Visit us online at beacardinal.com. You know, diversification is important and means more than owning different stocks. Hi, I'm Mike Fulgens, president of Universal Coin & Bullion. I've been helping clients nationwide for 15 years diversify with gold. And I want to send you a free copy of our award-winning gold guide to help you choose the best gold options for you. Get the answers you need about gold. Call us today at 866-UCB-GUIDE. That's 866-822-4843. Sam Houston State leads Lamar here in Huntsville, 37 to 22. Great action here in Huntsville. And now let's check back now with Tom Franklin and Jim Howler, who have more, including second half action for you here courtside. Guys, take it away. Hey, much. Appreciate it. And uh, coach, as we look at the first half statistics, a couple of things jumped off the board to me. Sam Houston with 11 points off seven Lamar turnovers, and we thought that Lamar was the transition team. Conversely, Lamar with 13 points off the bench, just one bench point for Sam Houston State. Well, and all of that's very significant, but I'll tell you, partner, what I'm looking at first tonight is the boards. These are the top two rebounding teams in the league, and Sam Houston State only has a one rebounding edge in tonight's contest. So there's a lot of things that are making this game a deficit for Lamar. The big one, though, at free throw attempts. 37-22 at the break. We'll have the second half action coming up your way from Johnson Coliseum after this timeout on Root Sports. Getting set for the second half of play. You know, interesting between these two teams, Jim, as we look at it, Lamar has the player of the week in Anthony Holiday after a great week. Sam Houston State, on the other hand, you look at their five starters, six points, six points, 10 points, six points, eight points, such balance. Their people told me we will never have a player of the week because we have two balanced in attack. We have no one player that's gonna explode for 20 or more night after night. Well, that's a great point, and that balance is so important to the success of this team. Seven players averaging seven and a half points or more per game. That's terrific balance. Another great defensive stand on the opening possession, denying Lamar any points. And now with a 15-point lead, the Bearcats looking to build some more. Streaking to the basket is Peters, too strong. Holyfield missed the follow, but there was a foul on the play. Yeah, nice job by Holyfield, positioning himself for that offensive putback. He got pushed in the back just as he went up for the putback. Holyfield now going to the charity stripe. So far tonight, he is six out of six at the line. He would become the Bearcats' second double-figure scorer if he can knock down two here on these efforts. Boy, oh, nothing but net again. You got after him last time. He actually hit the rim. Yeah, I know it. I mean, come on. <laughs> and Owens, who picked up the foul, just 
41 seconds into the half, has picked up his fourth personal foul, and he's going to have an extended time on the bench now. Uh, Tom, you talked about the great defense Sam Houston's played on Holiday. Let's don't forget that Holiday. Oh, what a great drive to the basket by Ransom, using that quickness and speed down the baseline. Nice little crossover and first step move coming in from the left-hand side. Holiday with the ball now. He got 25 points in the second half last week against Stephen F. Austin one of the top defensive teams in the league. So let's see if he can explode here again tonight. That will probably be the only opportunity Lamar will have to win if he can do that. That's a bunch of points against Stephen F. Austin Absolutely. in one half, 25. Strong move to the basket and dish on the outside and a two-hand jam from Lamont Gregory. Boy, nice, nice pass there by Tyran. This beautiful move into the paint. You noticed I didn't say his last name, partner. I don't blame you. <laughs> if by the time we would say his last name, we might miss two or three baskets. Holyfield up for the putback and another foul. And this time it is on Gregory. It'll be his second. Another good job by the big man getting his position in there to get the offensive carom through the foul. So a new 35. As Ransom lobs it out to Peters. The kick to Baxter. Peters for Holyfield. His two-hander was blocked, and Tyran De La Boudier picks up his third foul. Well, good hands again by Holyfield. That was a great drive on the baseline by Peters. Holyfield ready for it, just didn't get the finish. Did get pushed, but with his size and physical ability, he should have gotten a flush on that one. Oh, and now he's missed two in a row. He made his first seven, now he missed two in a row. Well, if he makes this one, he joins Ransom in the double figure club here tonight. Both would have 10. Now no, Ransom got, got that good drive yep. on, the on the baseline. Yep. yep. Holyfield, after a sizzling first half, has missed three in a row here in the second half and couldn't pull that rebound and it bows the push. For the Cardinals, nice no-look pass now, to Holiday. There's Lamar Cardinal basketball at its best. Speed, speed, and more speed running the floor beautifully by Holiday. They're looking for Holyfield here in the second half. They've gone inside a lot to him to get things going. Here is Gatlin. Kicked out for Peters is three, no good. Gatlin couldn't get the rebound, but a steal by Ransom. Well, what a heads up play by Ransom coming from behind. Here's Gatlin attacking again. Pump fake, fall away, eight footer is no good. Holyfield had the ball taken out of his hands. Tyran's got it. Ball is still loose and they fight for it. Gonna have alternating possession. He'll stay with Sam Houston. Big time confrontation on the hardwood there. Six players down at one time including the big man, 6'10", Holyfield. You know, if we had a little grass, we could have called that a rugby scrub. Yes, the way sir. They were going you around. are right. So with 24 on the clock, Sam Houston maintains possession. And Ransom pulls the trigger. All right, and instead, they're going to reset the shot clock to 35, saying that they lost possession on the missed shot. So they get a new 35 to work with. Now, nice job of officiating there by the striped shirts. Good alertness. And that was the youngster, J.B. DeRosa, making the call there. Mark that down, partner. That's my compliment of the night for the striped <laughs> shirts. <laughs> that doesn't happen very often. The drive by Ransom is no good, but he got fouled going by. And it's Hollis who pick up his third. Well, a good job by Ransom penetrating and Holyfield right in there in position once again. But Ransom got fouled on the penetration using his speed and quickness. The game's leading scorer here tonight with a dozen. Ransom two for two for the stripe in the first half as part of his 12 points. Now we have another conversation between the officials and the scorers table. Now Ransom at the line, he and Holyfield, the only two Bearcats with two personal fouls in tonight's ball game. We are having some clock issues, so the referee is going to pull both teams off the floor while they work on that. And I see one of the technicians over there getting a new cord. Hopefully that'll make the clock work a little bit easier. 
Well, as we have this little time See if out. Marcus Pettigrew will tell us what's going on. We'll have a chance here to maybe look at some highlights while we're waiting for action to resume. Great job by Holiday there, splitting the Bearcat defense using his explosiveness to make it happen. The block from behind there by by Auskis. A oh, nice perimeter shot that time by Ransom and see the good break on the baseline by Gatlin. A lot of fast paced, quick action here tonight. There's, a, that two, there's by, a jam by yeah, Gatlin. Demarcus Gatlin, the senior who played earlier at Navarro Junior College. Here's the first staff hat, hot, hot highlights and stats to take a look at. Not great shooting on the part of either team. Lamar, 9 out of 27. Sam Houston State, 10 out of 28. Which, Look at that free throw yeah. line discrepancy. Yeah, that's the big, well, the big difference, the two next lines there, 13 free throws to only three for the Cardinals and four three balls to only one. Sam Houston State, the edge in two big categories in tonight's ball game. Both teams playing a good floor game, only seven turnovers from Lamar, five for Sam Houston State. So we think we have the clock issue taken care of. And Ransom knocks down the first free throw for his 13th point to make you know, it a 41-26 While ball we game. were in that timeout, I was going to remind our viewers, believe it or not, these two teams have played 58 times in the course of history, 29 wins each coming into the night's game. I think that's balance. That's what I call balance, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so a 16-point lead for the Bearcats. Here's Bosha with a three from the right wing, no good. The long rebound comes to Baxter, and here come the Bearcats. Gatlin trying to penetrate. Backdoor pass for Ransom. Wow, with a reverse layup. Great move without the basketball by Ransom. That's a lost skill by a lot of today's players. Moving well without the ball, freeing yourself. Great job. Good pass, good move. 44-26. There's Holiday with a deep three. It's still good. Rebound fought for last touch. They say by Hollis of Lamar to belong to Sam Houston State. Yeah, big fellow, Hollis that time, 6'8", 251, couldn't corral that rebound. Had to contend with the 6'10", Holyfield. And Sam Houston easily breaks the pressure. They have three on two in the front court. And Myauskas with a nice head fake and laid it in for yeah, two. How about that assist by Jabari Peters? Talked earlier about his versatility. Dribble in, make the defender pick you up, kick it off to your teammate. And here's a steal by Gatlin. Lobs it up, and the left-handed follow by Ransom is no good, but Myauskas has got it. His shovel pass is knocked out of bounds. It'll stay with Sam Houston State. You know, Jabari Peters and Ransom both were going up for that lob pass, and they kind of shied away to get the finish. Bearcats have had it all their own way here tonight. They lead by 20 with 15.38 to play at Johnson Coliseum on Root Sports. Have you been thinking about diversifying with gold but don't know how? Hi, I'm Mike Fulgens, president of Universal Coin & Bullion. As an award-winning nationwide dealer, we help clients get the answers they need to discover the beauty, security, and strength of gold in their portfolio. Call us today at 866-UCB-GUIDE to receive our award-winning gold guide free. That's 866-822-4843. I discovered Lamar University. Close to home. A place of my own. With all the amenities. Opportunities. Engineering. World-class science. Professors who know my name. That's what you get with a doctoral research university. Hands-on research. Or study abroad. And it starts right here. Lamar University. Visit us online at beacardinal.com.
And tonight's game is being presented by Universal Coin and Bullion. Check them out online at universalcoin.com. 15-38 to play. Sam Houston State is led from the opening tip, and they lead by 20 at 46 to 26 here at Johnson Coliseum. One of the big keys to that big lead, Tom, we've talked about the free throws, the three-point shooting, but how about points off turnovers? Sam Houston State, 13 to four advantage in that all-important category as we go back to play. And tight defense by the Bearcats here in the second half. Lamar is just one of seven from the field. Here's Myauskas going strong into the basket. He'll pick up a foul on Hollis, and that could be his fourth foul. Well, Myauskas really knows how to use his legs. The youngster from Lithuania, that European basketball, they do a great job with using their legs to free themselves for moves to the bucket, and this young man knows how to drop it to get it to the bucket. Already we've had five team fouls against Lamar here in the second half as Myauskas knocks home the first of two free throws. Just his third point of the ball game, but he's got six big rebounds. The second leading rebounder for the Bearcats behind Holyfield. Holyfield close to getting a double-double here tonight with nine points and nine rebounds. So now it's 48 to 26. And young Kevin Booz, the true freshman from, all, from Irving MacArthur High School. We'll let Holiday try and create. Double teamed as he attacks, picks the ball back up to Booz. Booz outside the arc, thought about the three, instead feeds inside, going up strong. Was Ross, his shot was denied, and here come the Bearcats again. Oh, and that ball goes on the baseline. The Bearcats converge as a team. Might we call that a bear trap? Sounds good to me, Tom. <laughs> I like it. Good thought, man. Here's the three ball for the wing. It's good by Baxter. Nice job by Baxter. Perfect court balance, getting his ninth point of the ball game. Second went, triple. Yeah, went deep to that right corner. And now it's 51 to 26. They've almost doubled up the Cardinals here. Tough drive by Holiday, but great defense by Myauskas, and here come the Bearcats again. That was real good defensive discipline that time by Myauskas. Just stay put. Keep your feet on the ground and let them go into him. Nice head and shoulder fake and got it to go over Hollis. Well, I can't get over the improvement in this youngster. I've not seen Sam Houston State play since the uh, Southland Tournament in Katy last year. He has developed into quite a force for the Bearcats. Three ball from the outside, an ill-advised foul by Jabari Peters. Yeah, over-aggressiveness that time. Was that a three-point shot Yes, or not? it was. Oh, second time that's happened tonight. And so, Zori Bosha will be at the line to shoot three. Bosha, the young freshman out of Hart Jefferson, averaging six points a game. Here you see Myauskas with the pump fake over Hollis, who can't really do much to defend because he's playing with four fouls. You know, that's got to be something this coaching staff for the Bearcats emphasizes, the ball fake and the head fake. None do it better than Myauskas. 0 oh for 2 now for Bosha, who is a 60% free throw shooter coming in. A couple of substitutions now for Sam Houston State. It's Markel McKinney and Dakari Henderson will check in. And Peters will take a break along with Gatlin. I think we're going to see some bench time here. And 0 for 3 for Bosha from the line. How about that? Well, uh, Cardinals now 3 out of 9 for the game from the charity strike. Ransom being pressured. Gives it up for Myauskas. And double dribble. Carried that a little bit. Sean Casey, our lead official with the call there. Yeah, Coach Hooten getting after Myauskas that time. Pass the basketball instead of dribbling it by the big man. Now your job is to play down and set screens and not to dribble the ball. We have a lot of guys who can dribble. You're not one. So here comes Holiday as Baxter will pick him up. Baxter's done a great job on him. Holiday with a fadeaway is no good. Going in for the rebound was Sears, and he got fouled. Now, Tom, we really need to emphasize the great job that Sam Houston State has done so far on holiday. Look at this right there, just right in his face without going for the ball fake. Just good sound defense. 
Here's a three ball from the wing that's in and out. No good by Booz. And Sam Houston with another rebound. How many one and dones have Lamar had tonight, Coach? Well, Sam Houston State's doing a terrific job on the defensive glass. Both ball clubs rebounding pretty good, though. Not many offensive rebounds in the game for Lamar, but Sam Houston State has 12. Here's Mayowskis trying to work his way around. He stepped on the baseline. He did. He's trying to work his way around Gregory. You know, Lamar is second in the conference in offensive rebounding to Sam Houston State. Look at this. Yeah, made the nice move, but, but got, got, that, uh, got that big foot a little bit too far out over the baseline. But in the all-important offensive rebounding category, we're talking about Sam Houston State with 12 to only four for Lamar, and they're the top two teams in the league in that category. Holiday dribbles through traffic and got there to the go. basket with a right-hander. Yeah, the, the help did not come that time. Good job by Holiday, his uh, 11th point of the game. 53-28, 12 and a half to play here at Johnson Coliseum. Sam Houston State looking for their third straight win and their ninth yeah. win here in conference. Yeah, they've won 11 of their last 12, so they're uh, they're getting very consistent at the right time. Myauskas to the basket got fouled. Foul is on Donovan Ross. That'll be his first in the sixth team foul. How about while well, Myoskis goes to the charity stripe, I wanted to compliment both of these ball clubs on their non-conference schedule. I think it's Indeed. so impressive. You, Lamar played at three top 20 teams at SMU, at Indiana, and at Iowa State. That will prepare you for big time competition. And on the other side, the Sam Houston State Bearcats played at UNLV, at Texas A&M, at LSU. My kudos to both coaches for scheduling their team's tough opponents to get ready. Sam Houston State played Texas A&M, who's second in the SEC right now to a three-point game in College Station. And it was a buzzer beater three-pointer yes, that beat was. him. 55-28 the count here. As Booz's pass is deflected away, and here comes Baxter. Will he take it all the way? Yes, and got it off the glass. How about that job by Baxter? That's strong. Great body right control. There. Yes, sir. And he actually, you'd think he was going to use that left hand, but used his right hand to go over the Lamar defender. Sam Houston State has been very, very impressive in tonight's ball game. And you know, talked about Sam Houston State playing A&M so close and had an opportunity to win it on the last shot, but they played UNLV out in Vegas, a two-point game. 11.42 to go, and the Bearcats are on the prowl tonight here at Johnson Coliseum with a 57-28 lead over the Lamar Cardinal on Root Sports. A good A reminder that tonight's game is presented by Universal Coin and Bullion. Check them out at universalcoin.com. A lot of coin in the uh, Sam Houston State basket tonight, Coach. Well, very impressive, especially their aggressiveness getting to that charity stripe. They have now shot 28 free throws. That's a good indicator of offensive aggressiveness. Lamar, only nine charity tosses. So good dis discipline defense by the Bearcats also. And they have really gone to work on the backboards here in the second half. It was 20 to 19 at the intermission. It's now 34 to 22 total yeah. rebounds. So it's a 14 yeah. to three margin and, 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 for you know, the Bearcats. You're, you're talking about comparisons at halftime. Sam Houston only had five offensive rebounds to Lamar's four at the half. Now it's 12 to five. Wow. Holiday drives, got cut off. His pass out is deflected. McKinney could not get it back in the hands of Lamar. It's Sears who will take it to the basket with a finger roll for two. Boy, there's a good example of that speed by this Lamar team. They're just, they're not hitting on all cylinders here tonight. Had a tough road trip out to Abilene on Saturday. No, they played at home on Saturday right. against Abilene, but uh, they have been on a roll. There's your three ball from Henderson. You talked about him, the yeah. young freshman from Pearland, Dawson, necking on the three and making yeah. the steal. Yeah, even though he doesn't play near as many minutes, he's got the second most three ball attempts on the team. 120 by Ransom, who's just nailing it right there. And Dakari Henderson has 108 attempts. 18 points now for Ransom as the lead is 62 to 30. Jones out near midcourt. Trying to work on Ransom. 
Holiday has to give it up. Baxter has done such a good job on him. In the lane. Gregory's shot is denied, and here's the putback by Sears. Second one, no good. Boy, he missed two bunnies up close. And away comes Ransom. European cross-step, no good. Rebound fought for and over the back. I think we're going to get a foul on. Now they're calling it on Holyfield right okay. there. Yeah, that's going to be his uh, third foul of the game. Right. Let's see if we can pick it up here. Baxter will take a seat. Up off the bench now, Jesse Lopez will check in. Uh, you can see across the court there, Coach Jason Hooten congratulating Paul Baxter on an outstanding game here tonight. Terrific leadership. Jason Hooten coming into the night's game, 103 wins and only 68 losses in his fifth season for the Bearcats. Terrific young coach here in Huntsville, Texas. Three ball is in and out, and the rebound is taken down by Jamal Williams, who has checked in. What a job by Baxter yep. he has done, held, holding Holiday to 11 points on 5 of 14 shooting. Put back on the air ball, three by a Holyfield. Yeah, good job by Holyfield. Now the third Bearcat in double figure scoring, joining Ransom and Baxter. Nine and a half to play as the Bearcats get to rest their starters here. Prepare them for a big ball game coming up against third place Texas A&M Corpus Christi right here at the Johnson Coliseum Boy, what a job. on Saturday. Yeah, what a job Willis Wilson has done with that uh, Corpus Christi ball club. He has really turned that program around and made them viable contenders here in the Southland Conference. See this drive to the bucket there by you know, just using that terrific quickness, Anthony Holiday. Go to the line for his 12th or 13th point of the ball game. Had three free throw attempts in the first half and missed the ball. Now this youngster at the line had scored 20 or more in six out of the last nine games for the Cardinals. He's been the big surprise of the second half. Averaged 14 points a game in non-conference and over 21 in conference play. He is now just one out of five from the free throw line. And this from a guy who shoots 78% from the stripe. You have your tick price and your number one player and your best free throw shooter goes one for six from the stripe. Chances are your night's not going to be very good. And that's the way it's been for the Lamar Cardinals tonight. 64 to 30 as we approach nine minutes to play. Lopez yeah. will give it up to Henderson. You're talking about nights of frustration. How about we're talking about Holiday, but how about De La Tabiere? He only, he's got zero points and he came in averaging 14. Spent much of the first half on the bench with two early fouls. Jump stop, kicking the ball out is Quan Jones. Now Holiday will reset for the Cardinals with 20 to shoot. Ball was kicked or are we gonna get a foul? Gonna get a foul first. It's gonna be on Ransom, I believe. Yeah, good job by Holiday right there, trying to split the Bearcat defense, drawing the foul. And Ransom will take a seat with his game high 18 points now. Here's Jones knocked out of there. Lopez and Holyfield both teaming up to reject that shot. You know what's impressive about that, partner? This is the uh, substitutes all on the floor right now, yet that good team defensive rotation continues for the Bearcats. Yeah, Holyfield the only starter. Mm -hmm. You got four bench players in here. Well, in bench points, Lamar still leads in that category, 13 to nine in the night's ball game. Holyfield picked up the foul there. That's his fourth now with 8.24 to go. Uh, Quan Jones has not scored here this evening for the Cardinals. Front end of one on one goes through. He will have one more, just a 54% free throw shooter. Had a big ball game in the win over Abilene Christian, six to seven shooting, including four for four from behind the three, three point arc. Now Marcus Burwell, a transfer into the program, taking Holyfield's place, 6'5", 205 pounder. 
Second one is also good by Jones, who goes two for two from the line for his first points of the night. Yeah, Burwell there getting the pass. Nice job of filling the middle against the Lamar trap. Burwell actually started quite a few games for the Bearcats earlier in the year, number 32. Lopez will give to Henderson. Back on the outside for Baxter. He is now the lone starter for Sam Houston State. Clock is down to three. They feed it inside. Hent Lopez's shot is rejected. That's a shot clock violation. It'll bring us to an official's timeout with 7.48 to play. It has been all Sam Houston State as the Orange is on the prowl tonight here at Johnson Coliseum. As you see, the Bearcats have outscored the Cardinals by a 27 to 10 margin here in the second half to blow this game open. And if you're tick price, Jim, you, you're telling your team, you know, your team motto is strong together. And it's in times like this where you have to stay together. Yes, the outlook is bleak. You're probably not gonna win this, but let's go out and execute this final 748 and show that we can still keep our composure, do the things we're supposed to do. Well, this Lamar Cardinal team still has a lot to play for. After all, they came into the night's game with a winning record on the season, winning nine of their last 13. Still a lot of time to continue to show improvement. What's happened here tonight? They're going up against, we keep talking about Sam Houston State, the best defensive team statistically in the Southland Conference. They're one of the best defensive teams in the country and they're handling Lamar's offensive attack better than most people expected they would. Holiday all the way to the basket, couldn't get it to go. Follow with the left hand is good by Donovan Ross for his first field goal of the night. Yeah, Holiday now five out of 15 on field goal attempts. That's because he's had pressure at every attempt here tonight. Paul Baxter has really put a lid on him. Yeah, well, Holiday's averaging 22 a game in conference play and only has 11 so far in tonight's contest. Baxter will leave it for Henderson. They run a little weave out front and a travel. Just got a little hop and a skip in there before he got rid of the basketball. Yeah, you can see Jason Hooten there on the sideline continuing to seriously instruct his ball club even with a 30 point advantage here with a little under seven minutes to go in the game. Just the ninth turnover of the night for the Bearcats. As Lamar tries to find some way against this Tough, tough man-to-man -to -man defense. Boy, they double team, they switch and recover so well. Holiday's drive to the basket, drew some contact that time. Well, just great team defensive rotations is what all about. They're always aware of where the basketball is and they're always dropped off in help position. Let's see if Holiday now, we keep talking about his good free throw percentage on the year, but uh, one out of seven, I believe. One out of six. Yeah, six. His seventh attempt right here. No good. Boy, he still struggles. You know, if, if I'm Anthony Holiday, the next time out, I'm asking to measure these baskets. There's got to be something wrong. <laughs> uh, he got the shooter's roll finally there. He's had some tough breaks tonight. One out of four from the line in the first half and the second half. Two for eight from the night. You know, if you're a Lamar Cardinal fan, you just got to keep reminding yourself how far this team has come in a short period of time after the disaster last year. After the last two years. Yeah. Here's the lob for Myauskas. He'll go up with a pump fake and get it to go. Boy, nice job of moving to the basketball. Make that pass possible. Nice job moving without the ball by Myauskas. Now he's the fourth Bearcat in double figures tonight with 10. Well, he is much, much more aggressive than the normal European player. You think of European basketball, it's normally finesse, but this youngster uses uh, strength and aggressiveness to get it done. Just a sophomore, he's gonna be a, a terrific player in the Southland for a couple of more years. You know, Tick Price has really, as you mentioned, picked up the pieces with this Lamar program. Only seven wins combined the last two years. This holiday shot is contested, and the loose ball comes off to Baxter. Yeah, they've got 11 wins so far this year, 
and he says his job now is is to make his players not get overconfident as you get the shovel basket by Jamal Williams. How about that? The youngster, just a freshman from Houston Episcopal High School. Well, every player now making a big contribution for the Bearcats. The foul on that play on the drive to the basket is on Myauskas. That is his third. Uh, Quan Jones at the line for Lamar. He's a transfer out of Connor State Junior College up in uh, Oklahoma. And he has got three points on the night, all from the stripe. Jabari Peters will come back in from Paul Baxter. It's Baxter. We're under six minutes to play. We walked in tonight. I went around to visit with several of the players. Hardly know, uh, recognize Paul Baxter. He's got him a new do here this year. <laughs> got him a few curls up there on the top. One out of two from the line for Jones. And it's 69 to 36 and a foul in the backcourt. Yeah, Quan Jones overly aggressive there for the Cardinals. Jabari Peters has a chance to work to become the fourth, fifth Bearcat in double figure scoring. He just has six points here this evening. Yeah, he got them early and has mm -hmm. been very quiet on the yeah. score sheet, but he's done a lot of other things well in tonight's ball game. As we mentioned early on, he and Kahim Ransom. Yeah, he leads the team in steals here tonight. He's got four assists and one block. Just a terrific, versatile player. And one of the definite leaders of this Sam Houston State team that has their eyes set on Stephen F. Austin. Well, and that next game will come uh, March the 7th, last conference game of the year, and then they could well obviously meet again in the Southland Tourney down in Katy. Certainly looking forward to that second weekend of March. Boy, you're talking about two teams that do not like each other. They have great respect for each yeah, other, I was but just they gonna, do not like each other. I was just going to say that. It's a terrific rivalry. It's healthy for college athletics, but uh, respect is also a big part of that. Nice tough drive to the basket there by Ross to have an and one situation. Burwell will pick up the foul, and that's 10 team fouls now on Sam Houston State. Uh, Donovan Ross at the line. He's out of the state of Mississippi, Ridgeland High School. Nice three-point play there by Ross. And again, the pressure by Lamar. They try to do what they do well. It doesn't matter which one of the roster that Tick Price puts in there. This is well, this is Lamar and, and, yeah, Cardinal you, basketball. You've you got to remember, this is still a work in progress for Lamar, and they're going to continue to get better before the end of the season, as they have shown. Nice fake to the basket by Peters. Couldn't get it to go. The follow by Myauskas won't go, and Lamar controls underneath as Sears cleared it out to Holiday. Here's Tyran to the basket. He's short. Rebound comes out. Now that showed me something by Holiday right there. Very unselfish play. He could have taken that ball sure. all the way to the rack, dished it off to his opponent. Leading scorer for the Cardinals, showing a true team spirit. The ball goes between the legs of Ross and out of bounds for a turnover for Lamar. And now here comes Sean Goodwin to check in. Junior college transfer out of uh, Butler County, Hutchinson, Kansas. Now this youngster's just played in seven games this year, so it uh, be interesting to see how he does here tonight. Get some time in the conference. Usually when you see players like that, most of that comes in your non-conference schedule. But he gets some conference time here tonight. Williams has to pull the ball back out. And Henderson on the far side. For Goodwin, back to Williams for the three. It's too strong. De La Boudier pulls off the rebound. And tripping on the way to the basket. We're going to get a tripping foul against Sears as he takes a dive. Let's watch this one again. And did Henderson stick out a leg? Yeah, yeah maybe certainly a that, knee. That, yeah, that certainly wasn't intentional, though. He was just trying to slide back into defensive help position. Lamar in the double bonus, so it'll be two free throws for Sears, who rims the first one out. 
Well, what a luxury this is for the Sam Houston State coaching staff to be able to play their entire squad here in the middle of conference play. That doesn't happen very often. One out of two for Sears, who now has eight points. Second on the team behind Holiday with 4.15 to play. Three ball from the left wing, airmailed everything, did Burwell. Nice left handed to the basket by Donovan Ross, who now has nine. Inbounds before they can get the trap set up, and the Bearcats come back the other way. Here's Burwell again. And now Peters. I like the way that Jason Hooten is handling this. He's getting his reserves on the floor, but there's only there's always one veteran guy out there to make sure they keep the discipline that they want to have as Holiday goes to the basket. Boy, what a great back flip there by Holiday in traffic. Nice job. Yeah, we've seen Baxter be the one guy. We've seen Ransom be the one guy. Now Peters is the one guy. One time it was Holyfield who was the one guy. He's always had one of his starters out there just to make sure that they keep playing Sam Houston State basketball. Uh, good point there, Tom. And looking at the scoreboard, this is the Sam Houston State team averaging 75 points per game. 71 here tonight with three minutes to go. Make it 74 as Henderson knocks down his second three of the ball game. That's seven threes in this game now for Sam Houston State to only one for Lamar. Another good indication of Sam Houston's defensive pressure. This is a Lamar team that averages over five made threes per game. Sam Houston's held them to one. Off the mark that time for Ross, and here come the Bearcats once again as we're under three minutes to play. Peters will slow it down and get them into their offense. Yeah, it's got to be a real luxury for Jason Hoot to have Burwell as your main point guard, but Peters can take it over. Ransom can take it over. It doesn't matter. And Henderson yep. knocks down <laughs> another three I ball. I told you that guy can shoot the basketball. That's why he's got the second most three attempts on the team. And he is the fifth Bearcat in double figures now with 10 as Ross goes strong to the basket off the glass. Yeah, another good indicator. We keep talking about this Sam Houston State defense. Listen to this. Lamar averages 73 points per game, and here we have Sam Houston holding them to 46 with two minutes to go. We had a timeout on the floor with exactly two minutes to play. It has been all Bearcats tonight as they lead 77 to 46. Back for the finish from Johnson Coliseum after this timeout on Root Sports. Have you been thinking about diversifying with gold but don't know how? Hi, I'm Mike Fulgens, president of Universal Coin and Bullion. As an award-winning nationwide dealer, we help clients get the answers they need to discover the beauty, security, and strength of gold in their portfolio. Call us today at 866-UCB-GUIDE to receive our award-winning gold guide free. That's 866-822-4843. The Southland Conference is 4,200 student athletes from 13 member institutions competing in 17 NCAA Division I sports. We are Southland Strong. I discovered Lamar University. Close to home. A place of my own. With all the amenities. Opportunities. Engineering. World-class science. Professors who know my name. That's what you get with a doctoral research university. Hands-on research. Or study abroad. And it starts right here. Lamar University. Visit us online at beacardinal.com. And tonight's game is presented by Universal Coin and Bullion. Be sure you check them out online at universalcoin.com. Great hospitality for the folks here at Sam Houston State tonight. 
I want to thank Bobby Williams, the athletic director, Paul Ridings, the sports information director for all their help and hospitality. Two minutes to go, and the Bearcats have put on a show for their fans tonight here at Johnson Coliseum. Yep, the clock moved before we got the ball inbounded. We're going to well, set well, it back to two minutes. On the floor for the Bearcats now to close out with 159 to go in the ball game. We're going to have Sean Goodwin on the floor. Kyle McElroy, a transfer from Mary Harden Baylor in the ball game. Marcus Burwell, Mitch McCormick from Montgomery High School, just southwest of Houston. And then Jesse Lopez, a freshman out of El Paso with the basketball. He will give it up to McCormick. McCormick's pass is taken away. The steal by Sears will go coast to coast for the two-hander. That gets him in double figures with 10. Well, good effort continuing for the Cardinals there. Sears jumping into the passing lane. McElroy, a good move to get into front court for the Bearcats with under a minute and a half to play. They work on the perimeter, find Goodwin on the baseline. His 15-footer is good. How about that? How, yeah, how about that is good. Only his eighth game to play in this year. Long three by Sears. Air mails everything and goes out of bounds. That is not Sears' forte. The three-point shot, just 21 of 67 on the year. You know, we saw a good one. I commented this is his eighth game. Now, he has made eight out of ten field goal attempts for the season. That's pretty amazing. I would say the young man knows his game. He does. That's nice to know you got that luxury. Under a minute to play, and down low is Lopez. Turnaround jumper rolls off, no good. That was a nice move by Lopez. I like that. The freshman out of mentioned from El Paso, Bowie High School. The rebound taken down by Sebastian Norma, the senior out of Uppsala, Sweden, for the Lamar Cardinal. Hancock has got the ball as Tick Price has cleared his bench as well. An up and under move is good for two for Preston Mattingly and his first point of the night. 79-50, and now Sam Houston can run it out from here as they get the ball across the timeline. Shot clock is off. And it looks as though the Bearcats are going to go to 11-1 here at Johnson Coliseum. 9-1 in Southland Conference and 17-5 on the air with a convincing wire-to-wire -wire victory over the Lamar Cardinal by a score of 79-50. Six players going double figures for the Bearcats in tonight's ballgame. There's your final score, 79-50. Jim and I will be back to wrap things up from Johnson Coliseum in Huntsville after this timeout on Root Sports. Sam Houston State with a convincing 79-50 win over Lamar to move to 9-1 in Southwest Conference play. Led by their senior, Kahim Ransom, with 18 points on the night. He's standing by with our Jeff Power. Kahim Ransom joining us now, 15 points on the night. Give me your thoughts about uh, this particular game, 18 actually. Um, I think we, we played a great game. We finally came out and put two halves together. That's what, uh, that's what our coach wanted us to do because we had multiple games where we only played one good half. I'm glad we, our, our team came out with a win tonight. A 79 to 50 victory. Talk about the importance of winning games like this in the Southland Conference. You guys trying to get that number one seed, and you got some big games coming against AM and Corpus Christi next. Oh yeah, most definitely. Statement games. That's what uh, that's what our coach told us. We want to come out and make a statement and um, get some rhythm going to these next games and, and stay perfect at home. That's what we really want to do. You've really been on a roll in the last uh, 12 of the last 13 games with victories. What's been going on with this team? Jason Hooten's got you guys practicing pretty tough, huh? Yes, yes. Uh, we have we have a great practice and preparation. Our coaches are putting a great uh, game plan for us together, and we're coming out and executing well. Kaheem Ransom, thank you very much. All Appreciate right, it. Thank you. Tom, back to you. All right, Jeff, thanks very much. And coach, as we look at tonight's ball game, you know, we heard about the balance attack that Sam Houston State has, and we certainly saw it tonight with six players in double figures. Well, no doubt about that. With uh, five players and six players in double figures. Jeff just talking to Ransom there, but the balance of this team has been the key all year. But what really impressed me so much tonight, 
dominance on the backboards, and tough on-ball defense, holding Lamar to 23 points below their season average. And when this team plays defense the way they did tonight, they're going to be tough to beat. It doesn't matter who the opposition is. Well, one other thing is the Sam Houston State coaching staff has been wanting a better shooting performance from the perimeter. Eight out of 19 from the three-point line. That'll make the Bearcat coaching staff happy in a hurry. And when you get to the free throw line 31 times in addition yeah. to that, that really helps when you have the inside-outside yeah. going. So 18 points tonight for Ransom, who leads the way. Six players in double figures for the Bearcats. There are your final stats. They shoot 42%, and they out-rebound Lamar by a 42-33 to 33 margin. And that doesn't happen very often to Lamar's team. Well, just a great all-round performance. You can, as we've talked earlier, rebounding, defense, steals, assists, everything. Just a terrific game for the Sam Houston State Bearcats. 17 assists on 24 made baskets. Any coach will take that, won't they? Absolutely. <laughs> so now it's on for more action in the Southwest Southland Conference for both of these teams. Sam Houston State keeping their eyes on Stephen F. Austin. They're the prize, undefeated at the top, but the Bearcats keeping the heat on. And they do so tonight with a convincing win by a score of 79 to 70. For Jeff Power and Jim Haller, I'm Tom Franklin saying so long from Johnson Coliseum in Huntsville. And you've been watching Southland Conference basketball on Root Sports. <laughs>